What's going on everybody, LYH Studio back here today with a brochure video. Uh, we're gonna learn how to make this and let's get started. Before I hop into it, I look at this graph sometimes and I have to cry myself to sleep. So help me out by subscribing, thank you. Okay, we're gonna start off by creating our trifold. I'm gonna go into new file and we're just gonna create a standard eight and a half by 11 in landscape orientation. It's gonna have two pages because we have one front and one back for our trifold. And I'm gonna make three different columns because again, it is a trifold, keeping the gutter at 0.5 inches. And I kind of want this to be a little bit smaller in the margins around the page. So I'm gonna make that 0.25 and I'm just gonna create this page. So here you can already see that we have our three different panels. It's safe to put any information on here and we don't have to worry about the print kind of cutting the information off. Obviously we want to have a more modern sleek feeling. So a lot of it is going to be full bleed. But what I'd like to do is go into layout, create guide, uh, and just make sure that I know where the folds actually are. So um, if I make this zero inches and I make three different columns, it's gonna help me make the guide so that I know exactly where the fold is going to be. Now, depending on how you're folding your trifold, it's gonna be a little bit different, but generally, this is what you're gonna see. If this is ABC on page one and DEF on page two, the first page you're gonna see, which is the cover page, is right here, page C, followed by, after that, page D, which is the second, uh, and then you will see page A, which is the third, and then fourth and fifth, E and F, and then lastly, in the very back, you'll see page six, which is B. We're gonna start off by going and doing the title page here, which is page C, and it's gonna be the first page that everybody sees. So I'm gonna switch off our guide and just work in this layer. So we wanna start off with you know a title page, so something that can capture the user's attention. And we're gonna go ahead and make our text. So if we want a title here, we can put it down in the bottom of the, of the page. And I'm going to pretend that I am a furniture store here, so um, we're going to make that LH Studio again, use your favorite font or whatever font works for this. Usually for big titles, you want this to be uh, bigger, obviously. Uh, but I think you also want to change the kerning or the tracking where this is the space in between the letters. Um, and this gives it a more sleek and modern feel. So if we use W to preview that, that looks pretty good for a title. Uh, and then maybe you have kind of a subtitle. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy that, change this so that it is not super bold. Uh, we're going to make this something like uh, semi bold. And then we're going to turn this to something a little bit lighter. Actually, we'll use light for the caption. And then we're actually going to right justify this as well as this, just because this whole page is kind of, uh, because this whole page is anchored to the right there. Great, now we need an image to really uh, ground this page. So we're gonna make a frame and the frame is going to occupy most of the page. So feel free to drag it to your liking, uh, but I'm just gonna match it up with the bounding box of the text box here. And I'm gonna drag in my image, simply drag and drop into our frame. There we go. And I'm gonna use the shortcut to basically center that, or not center that, but fit that in to our frame. Uh, and then we're gonna use these little elements to kind of balance out the page throughout our design. And I'm gonna do that simply with some rectangles. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a rectangle here. Um, and these are going to be fun, funky design elements that are gonna happen throughout this entire brochure. Um, so here, I'm gonna make this color uh, something that's uh, that I know would work. I'm just gonna do a nice gray here. Great. Uh, and then I'm also going to add a little bit of a flare with, uh, with a white bar as well. So here we can change that to paper and it'll come white. Uh, and I'm just gonna use the shortcut Control Shift and then that bracket sign to make that go behind. And once again, the image to go behind. So you can see here that I've created something like a title page. It's got some funky design elements here. Uh, that I will carry out throughout the entire design, but we have a good kind of uh, title page here. On the left of our title page, if you guys remember, is going to be the sixth page, and this is the last page that people are gonna see. They're gonna have to flip the brochure all the way over, and this is in the middle. 
Uh, so what I think would work really well here is something like a contacts page. So we're gonna begin by making a nice shape here. Actually, let's just make a rectangle. And we're gonna want this one to be more of a full bleed. So here I'm gonna make that. And then I'm gonna use the eyedropper tool, which is I, and just hit the color there. I'm gonna use A to, to basically get the select tool, the direct select tool. And we're gonna do something a little bit different here uh, and drag this down so that it's more of a triangle. Now, I'm gonna create uh, another text box simply by dragging the title over and I'm gonna make that pop to the top. We're gonna left justify that and change the kerning so that it's not the same as the title. We want some sort of hierarchy in our text. Uh, and since this is black and we can't really see it, I'm gonna change it to the paper color, which is white. Okay, great. Now, I'm going to uh, make this into the contacts page. Great, uh, and we can put our social media or whatever we need down here. Simply drag a text box over here. Great, and then you can put your phone, you can put uh, an email, you can put a website, anything you really want uh, here. And then again, we want to make this the font that we are using. So we're gonna do Sophia regular here. Regular is pretty good for just reading fonts and stuff like that. And again, we wanna make this white because otherwise we can't really see it. So great, that's our kind of contacts page. Uh, and what I was doing with the design elements here is simply just dragging them over just so we have something cool going on on the page here as well. That's consistent with the other pages, right? Uh, on the bottom here, we want to do a picture. So we want to have a rectangular picture frame, drag it from where we think the photo is going to be, and then simply insert a picture into this frame. And then we're gonna use the fitting tool or the fitting shortcut, which is Control Shift Alt C. And then again, we're gonna make this go towards the very back so that the, the gray on the top kind of covers this. Great, now that we have that, uh, feel free to add in anything else, like for example, uh, if you guys see these uh, vector icons for your Instagram or your Twitter, also feel free to you know put that on. On the left here, we're gonna be doing the third page. So this is kind of after you flip open C, you're gonna see D, but on the other side of D is going to be A. So this is gonna be the third page that you see. We're gonna do something simple here, uh, just to kind of show uh, our mission or something like that. And I'm gonna simply drag a picture frame to around halfway of the page. And then we're gonna go ahead and just add in a photo here. And on the bottom, we want to create another darker rectangle. Great, and then eyedropper this right here. And this is going to house some text. So here I'm going to copy over this text box where we had our contact information make this go to the top there. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this with some placeholder text. Now, it's looking like a big mumble jumble of text, but um, if you guys do uh, format it and edit it, it will look a lot better. But we just want this page maybe to be something simple. So it could be like our mission, or it could be anything like that. Something to do with what you're trying to advertise here. Great, we have the first side of the brochure basically done. Let's move on to the second side. So over here, let's start on with the left. So we just did page A, which is the third page that you see. We're gonna do page D, which is the second page. Now to do page D, maybe it's a continuation of this page and we're gonna do a who we are page. So it's gonna look fairly similar to this because they kind of need to work together. Uh, and so I'm gonna do something similar. So I'm going to drag a box that is a picture frame. Again, kind of around where the halfway point is, leaving maybe a little bit more margin on the top. Uh, and then I'm going to, again, drag in my picture. There we go. And then we're gonna do some nice titles here for who we are. So again, I'm copying the title here and then pasting on this page. And I'm just gonna make the tracking zero on this, left justify. And 
kind of want something here that's going to separate the title from the body text. And we're gonna do that by basically creating this again. So we're gonna copy that, and then we're just gonna bring it over. Now to give this a little bit of a spin, I'm gonna make that full bleed. It's going to go right at the edge of the page. Now you can see it's not gonna cover all of it, so I'm just gonna drag it out a little bit more until I think that the text is sitting nicely on top of our line. And then on the bottom, we're gonna create this once again. So for sake of time, I'm just gonna copy that over. If you guys remember, the last two pages are the fourth and fifth page, so they really kind of need to work together. These two pages are what people see after they flip open the second page, which is page A. So we want these two to work really together. So we're gonna create two different blockouts once again. So first one, let's say something here underneath the title there. Okay, great. And then we're going to, again, match that. And on the other page, we're gonna do the exact opposite. All right, so now that we have these two pages kind of working together, we're gonna fill this in with similar or the same information. So we have here the LYH Studio or whatever title is. Actually, let me make this who we are, just so we don't get confused. Uh, and then we're going to basically copy this on both of these pages, just so it's uniform. So maybe that's the, I don't know, we wanna put something like timeless design here. And then to go with that on the other page, uh, and again, I'm just copying this over. Great, so now we have our two pages kind of functioning together. We have modern aesthetic, timeless design. And again, we can just copy this text over. So up top, maybe we want something like that and then make sure to make this white and make sure that we're copying this over once again but this time we're gonna make this black and we're gonna make this right justified great so we have something like this now we just need to kind of fill it in with images now to do this i'm going to actually break the grid a little bit and make an image right here so that's gonna be an image in the middle there. Actually, I don't really want it to go to the, to the margins. I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller so that it's kind of hanging in between the, the dark gray here and the white of the page. And again, I'm gonna drop an image in, fit that in, and great. So we ha already have something like that. Perhaps this is a focus image and we want a little bit of a caption. So again, I'm, I'm dragging and dropping and copying the text box. We're gonna make this registration, which is the black. Uh, and then we're gonna make this something that's ultra light. Uh, and if this is a, a caption or something, maybe it's showing or telling us what this picture actually is, then we kind of want it to not overpower anything else on the page. And maybe it's not as long as what is going on here. So it's gonna look something like that. Great. Now we just need to finish off this page. Now, maybe you have a little bit more text here um, to tell people what you're really about. But what I like to do here is you're obviously not going to squish everything on one um, on one brochure. And what people like to do now is just scan things with their QR code. And InDesign actually does that for us. If we just go up to objects and we go into generate QR code, you can actually just put your website in here uh, and this QR code will bring them there. But here I just have a placeholder that says, yep, content goes right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. You're gonna drag this as if you're dragging a photo and it's gonna come in here. Now yours might not come in as a white symbol. So what you can do is go up to objects and now it's gonna say edit QR code. If you go to edit QR code and you go to the right, there's a color option. You can change it to any color that you want. Here, it just makes sense to basically have it as a white on top of our already dark gray base. Okay, this is a little bit big, so I'm gonna make that a little bit smaller. Great. And then I'm gonna make sure that these two are centered by going up to here and then aligning the horizontal centers. There we go. And maybe we wanna do a little bit of a caption here that says, see more. Maybe not in all caps, see more. 
make sure that is visible so that we're using paper like that. Great, and then maybe I want to middle justify that just so I know that it's in the center of the page. Great. Okay, overall, this is our brochure. Um, obviously, feel free to add a lot more into this. This is a good start for anybody that's looking to do something like this. Uh, but if you guys learn anything new, please leave a like and subscribe. It really does help the channel a lot. Um, and with that, I'll see you guys in the next one.